Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly, uh, the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Before we get into your reading, Cancer, I want to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know um, it's came to our attention that a lot of people out there are creating fake profiles on Instagram, on Facebook, on even here on YouTube. Uh, so if you guys come across those accounts, uh, or if you get any friend requests, we don't send friend requests, so that should give you a red flag. Um, I encourage you guys to report those accounts uh, because I have been told on numerous occasions that uh, they're charging for readings that are not really being rendered. Um, like I said, they're coming off pretending to be me. Uh, so again, if you guys are unsure of the accounts you follow, Go to my YouTube channel, my main page. You'll be able to see all the links there for my social medias. Um, anything outside of that, it is not us. We're not affiliated with them, so please report them. Um, I'm just trying to keep you guys from uh, paying for a service that is never going to be rendered to you because these fakes um, are just, you know, I don't know why the hell they're doing that, but uh, just letting you guys know. Also... Um, if you guys notice here on our channel, a lot of spammers I've been noticing, I've, that's also been getting a lot of my attention. I was very tempted to turn off the comment section, but I feel it's very unfair for you guys. So if you guys see any spammers or people coming on these uh, videos, commenting, trying to send you guys to go to a different link or something, just report that comment. Um, this is getting out of hand, you guys, and it's so infuriating. Uh, especially when I get, you know, friends and clients telling me that they made a payment for something that I had no idea. So again, report those accounts. All right, let's get into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of June 2021 in regards to love and romance. Let's see what's going on. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more. All right, we're starting off with the Four of Pentacles, the Emperor card, the Prince of Cups, the Hierophant, and the King of Wands. Wow. So we have uh, Fire Energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We also have Taurus, Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. All right, Cancer, so I see you guys being a little bit guarded right now when it comes to romance. Um, you may feel like you had to pull your energy or you needed to pull back a bit. Um, the person of your interest is coming up as the Emperor card, so this could signify a person that is um, a bit flirtatious. This is someone that is definitely... Uh, they're definitely noticed wherever they go, and I feel that there is some type of like intimidation on your part um you may be feeling like well this person may like a lot of attention not sure if i want to deal with that type of energy however i do see them wanting um a higher elevation of some type of commitment so i do see them emotionally invested in this connection or in this relationship with you um if you're dealing with someone that is new and you're unsure how to read them or they come off as they communicate them, they pull back, they communicate them, they pull back. Uh, this is just a form for them to try to figure out um, if you are, in fact, looking for something long term. As I do have the Hierophant here, and this is speaking to me about a higher elevation of some type of commitment. Um, with the Prince of Cups here, again, I feel that you guys are going to be going into this cycle uh, in the next coming two weeks where you're going to be able to put the cards on the table and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Um, I do see vulnerability coming on both sides. The advice here would be, again, try the best you can, Cancer, not to be so guarded. Um, I feel that when you feel like the connection is strong or like things are going good, you're often contemplating or thinking or hoping, not hoping, but on a subconscious level, kind of waiting for shit to fall apart. And what they're telling you here is that you do have the possibility of taking this to the next level, but it's going to take trust on both sides. I feel that both of you guys have been guarded or have been through a lot when it comes to relationships. Um, for those of you guys that are single, I do see a higher form of commitment coming through. I do see a person coming in um, again, like I said, in the next coming two weeks, 
there's going to be some type of introduction to this person. This person comes into your life where you're going to be kind of like the meeting of minds. Uh, this person has the same ideals, the same outlook in life as you do. And I feel that the connection is going to be very strong. So you're kind of you're definitely going to feel um, a pull. It's almost like a magnetic pull coming or bringing you guys together. I do see the potential for higher elevation, as you can see here with this card of the emperor card here. Uh, he's holding on to the world. Uh, so what this is representing to me is having the opportunity to have the happiness uh, at the palm of your hands, have the opportunity to stabilize uh, or to bring monogamy into your life um, with an ideal partner. So again, I am hearing that a lot of you guys have been going through a lot of healing type of energy. So if there's been any endings from past connections, it's time to fully embrace that cancer so that you can fully be able to open the door wide open and embrace the new beginnings that come into your life when we're talking about love and romance. Um, specifically when dealing with either an Aries or a Sagittarius man, I feel that this person or woman, um, it is a general reading, um, I feel that this person is definitely going to be very drawn towards you and they're definitely going to be putting in the effort to show you uh, that they, you know, that they really value you and that they really want you in their life. So again, if there has been a bit of distancing uh, between you guys in the past, that's quickly going to be passing. Um, like I said, I do see a conversation of, you know, meeting of the minds and uh, speaking or putting the cards on the table and being completely honest and transparent. Um, so again, beautiful reading. I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.